Hi guys! Hello everyone! It's me, Leticia, ang inyong kaibigan, ang inyong katropa, at kakwintuhan. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Maraming marami pong salamat mga friends sa lahat-lahat po ng mga subscriber ko at saka yung pong uh, mga nanonood dyan. Please uh, click the subscribe button. Please like and share my uh, YouTube channel. And thank you so much guys for uh, supporting me. And thank you for all my friends, relatives. And maraming maraming pong sa inyo salamat guys. And uh, to all the people in the world. And hello to everyone. And I was uh, going to talk about uh, OFW. Okay? About OFW life. Okay. Overseas Filipino workers. So... Most of us is nakaka-relate po sa ganitong topic, you know. Bilang uh, dating OFW, bilang OFW dati, ang i-share ko lang po yung aking uh, experience. I'm going to share uh, my go my experience to all of you guys. Uh, it is very challenging, you know. But uh, you know, if you are an OFW or a overseas worker, so, bakit ka ba umaalis ng bansa? Why you go outside the country and trying uh, to find a good work? For what? What is the purpose? Kasi alam nyo guys, uh, yung purpose natin sa paglayo natin sa pamilya natin is to give them a, a good life and to provide them a better future, you know. So, dapat po yung mga anak dyan, ng mga OFW or yung mga may kapatid dyan na OFW, uh, dapat po kasi na-appreciate natin yung mga bagay na mayroon, na mayroon tayo at udo sa kapamilya natin. Ganun po kasi yun guys eh. And kailangan po kasi nating ma-evaluate. We need to evaluate the efforts of an OFW or overseas workers. Okay po? Bakit po ba sila umaalis or kami ay umaalis ng papunta sa ibang bansa. You know guys, it's not easy. It it is very hard to go, not to see or not to be with your family, you know. Why why we give a lot of sacrifices? Yeah. Because we get we love our family, we love uh, not only ourselves, you know. Of course, we need to provide them. We need to give them a good education. So, yun kasi yun the best eh. Na dapat is naiintindihan, especially ng mga anak. Ng mga anak ng isang OFW. You know guys, you are very lucky to have a parent or a brother or a sister. Okay? Or a daughters or a son that are trying to give you a better future. That's why, you know, as an OFW before, Kasi talagang napakahirap eh. You, nandun yung sacrifice mo. Na hindi mo iisipin yung kung bakit nahihirapan ka. Hindi ka natutulog na maayos. O yung trabaho mo is more than talaga sa, sa dapat mong pagtrabawan. For example, kailangan mo lang na sa kontrata mo is kailangan mo ng 8 hours. O minsan sumusobra talaga eh. Oh, depende na lang kasi yan kung you, you can find a good employer. So, totoo yan. So, may mga talagang, but I am so lucky that I found a, a good employer before, you know. Because uh, they are treating me like a family. Yun yung, I am so blessed and grateful for, uh, for what I had before. You know, even though there's a lot of sacrifice, but uh, I would tell that I am uh, giving a uh, great value of, of it because, uh, you know, I help a lot, not only for myself. Oh, of course, I help a lot for my family. You know why? Yes. And tayo naman po na pupunta sa ibang bansa, ay isipin natin bakit tayo nandun. Guys, we go to other country to work for our family. Okay? And, uh, Huwag nating sisirain yung kung ano man yung may pamilya na meron tayo, okay? And uh, we don't need uh, to go for uh, for something that is not uh, helpful to us. You know guys, hindi tayo dapat magpatukso. 
Or bakit ba natin sisirain yung sarili natin? Bakit uh, dumalayo tayo sa family, pa family natin? Because of what? Why we go? Ano yung purpose? What is the purpose? Yeah? Open overseas Filipino workers. You, this is only, I'm going to straightforward to you for that point na we are, we are on that uh, place to give uh, a better future to our children, to give them a best education, to provide them, you know, not to look for something that is not helpful to us. Okay? We need to go just to respect, give respect for ourselves, okay? And be, a, our family is our priority, okay? Bakit? Kasi yun ang dapat eh. So, kayo naman talaga, yung mga tao na nalulong ko tayo, pero huwag tayo magpapadala sa tokso. This is not really good. Masisira yung pag, pagkatao natin. ba? Diba? And, uh, gaano man kahirap, guys, especially yung mga anak dyan, ng mga OFW, mga mayroong kamag-anak or kapatid dyan, dapat kayo, you must to, you must to appreciate the efforts of your uh, sisters or brother or your parents or if you have a children that is working for you, you must to give uh, appreciation because it's really not easy. I tell you something. There is a lot of sacrifice in a in a life as an OFW. Napakahirap, guys. But for you, for the sake of the family, we are we are here to forget ourselves. For the sake of the family. That's uh, that's uh, only one that I can tell you guys. Please. And help to pray. Okay? Not to ask something and something. For the... Uh, kung mayroon kayong kapamilya na nasa ibang bansa. Kasi po, hindi pinupulot ang pera. Napakahirap pong kumita ng pera sa ibang bansa. Sa totoo lang po. And I'll tell you something. Sa pararan din ang maging OFW ka. Okay? And that's it guys. I just uh, wanna say thank you for everything that you're supporting me. And please share, like, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's me, Leticia. Ang inyong kaibigan. Bye-bye. God bless everyone. Have a good night.